Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I'm so grateful that you stopped by my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm very honored to be creating these <laughs> energy work sessions for you or just relaxing videos or videos that hopefully you enjoy, right? So just thank you for allowing me to share a little piece of your path and I'm excited to get into our session today. Before we get into it though, thank you so much for helping me pay, pay my bills and also share with you some things that I find super interesting and very helpful in my personal life. I only ever work with um, brands and sponsors that I find interesting and also obviously like beneficial and things that I would use myself. And I'm very excited to share with you our sponsor for this video, this session, which is the Miracle Mate Mini Magic. <laughs> A really interesting PEMF device. PEMF essentially stands for Pulsed Electric magnetic field and it's a sort of therapy specifically for reducing inflammation, pain relief. Almost, I don't want to say exclusively but primarily it's typically used in the joints and other areas, the back, and it can help to essentially, it works off, I had to do my research on this, it works off of the concept that our body is full of electric electrical currents and there can be sometimes a dysfunction whether that's through inflammation or a disruption in the current that is not supportive of our healing or slows down our healing or again help leads to like pain and different things like this so the PEMF device is a magnetic pulse of electricity or that works with electricity forgive me if i'm messing this up at all it's still like a really interesting um, topic that i'm still sinking my teeth into but essentially it's sending these currents or it's working magnetically to influence the electric currents that we have in our bodies to support healing to reduce inflammation to support pain relief and personally i've been using this primarily in this arm because um, some of you may know I've been dealing with some nerve issues in my arm um, specifically my right arm more so than my left arm so I've been using this in my elbow right in the middle of my forearm here in my wrist depending on where the pain is because with nerve pain for me anyway the pain seems to travel while this is um, working with the concept of the electricity in your body, you I don't feel it at all. There are three settings to this. I'm gonna do a little demonstration for you and let you know what's in the box and all of that, but there are three settings and I always keep it on the highest setting and I never feel it. All I feel is the effects from the pain relief that I'm experiencing to work with this nerve issue that I have. So this is a portable PEMF device. You can use it battery operated or you can plug it in, which I prefer to do because I like to just rest and lay down and receive the effects of it and sort of cut out a little time to meditate or whatever. I like to just chill and stay in one spot, but you can certainly put a battery in here and clip it on. Some people use it for um, like while they're exercising to improve performance, or you could just, you know, if you'd rather be portable and have it on as you go about your day or as you're working or reading or meditating outside or something. In the box, we have the Mini Magic itself, the USB power adapter, the USB to DC cable, a small wristband, and a larger band so that you can place this in different areas of your body. There's a coil tester and a single coil pair. I also was given the quad uh, pair, so it has four um, coils on it to use for the back or bigger areas of the body to restore function of essentially like the electric currents that are moving through our bodies at all time and this like signals. I, I have to admit, I don't fully understand it. I don't wanna come to you preachy <laughs> or put myself in some position where I completely understand this. I'm learning, but I'm also experimenting with this device and I haven't used the quad one yet. I just will show you a little demonstration of how you could set it up, but there are different ways to use the coils. Essentially, you can use them placed, for example, if you can imagine next to one another, like one and two, and you want to put the smooth side on the skin. There's a side that has four little bumps on it and that would go like on the external side where the smooth side goes on your skin. And if you put them together and like next to one another, it's covering a larger area, but it's not going very deep. It's a little more um, superficial. You could also place them 
like opposite to one another. Again, smooth side touching the skin. And I really love it for this part right here. Um, and this way it's going like, you're getting like a deeper um, targeted area that you're affecting. And you could also stack them where the um, smooth side, is, essentially where the bumpy sides are both touching one another, so right on top of one another. And with this, it's doing a target and it's just going deeper. So it's essentially kind of like the side by side, but going a little deeper depending on where you're trying to reach or access or you know what you're what you might be dealing with. If you're interested in something like this, a way to <laughs> a bit of a nerdy way for sure, or it feels nerdy to me. It feels like ooh, technology and pain relief. I'm into it. <laughs> so if you're interested in something like this, I can't recommend trying, giving this a shot, trying it out. There's a there's free shipping worldwide and a 30-day money-back refund. Uh, return policy so there's really no risk to trying it if you've been dealing with any chronic pain or if you're looking to like recover more quickly from your exercises or anything like that this is such a great tool I'm really enjoying it it's helping me tremendously when I have like I call them attacks I don't know the proper name for it but basically like a nerve attack specifically in my arm it really does help me so much um, over the you know week and a half that I've been able to use this thing, I see a big difference. And yeah, I can't recommend it enough if you've been looking for something like this and if you're open to experimenting with the more holistic options that are out there. I know myself, um, I messed myself up real bad recently, or a few months ago, but really bad messed myself up taking Advil. And I'm really trying to do my best to avoid pain medication whenever I can. I still do take it once in a while, but if I can avoid it, especially for something that's chronic that I'm perhaps going to have to deal with for a while, hopefully not my whole life, but you know, uh, for a while, um, <laughs> you know, please, uh, something like this is just really beneficial to have on hand for me. And I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to experience it and also to share it with those of you because I've never even heard of something like this before. So I'll put the link below in the video description. Thank you so much to Spooky2 or Miramate for, um, for this product and also for allowing me to share it with you all. And thank you so much viewers and subscribers. Truly couldn't do this without you. I owe so much to you. Thank you so much. And I'm very excited to get into our session. Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Neat. Thank you for stopping by my channel. And if we've never met before, my videos might seem a little weird. <laughs> and that's okay. But basically what I'm creating is a... There could be a lot of levels here, of course, but my intention is to create a opportunity for self-reflection, an opportunity to contemplate some ideas or to serve as sort of a friendly face and guide, almost like a guided meditation, but not to help you focus on things you'd like to activate within yourself, things you'd like to release, things you'd like to call in perhaps, or um, states you'd like to get yourself to, like feeling at ease feeling calm, feeling compassion, feeling ready to sleep, or what have you. And another layer to this is that um, I'm a Reiki practitioner and teacher and I study healing arts modalities and practice and just really nerd out on this stuff. And I've truthfully and humbly seen so much benefit from this in my personal life. So whether you want to call this a placebo or energy work or electromagnetism or prayer or chi or prana or whatever, whatever way you like to connect with it, whatever feels comfortable for you, there's certainly a power in what we're focusing on. So this is an opportunity to have a little session to focus on we're going to be working with a theme that I worked with in another video, the 
dopamine, dopamine video. But this time we're going to be focusing on oxytocin. And I just want to share with you how you can connect with that or harmonize that or balance that or bring it into your life. What kind of triggers oxytocin? It might be pretty obvious, but it's helpful for me anyway to know. Um, medicinally, things like magnesium, vitamin C, vitamin D are helpful. So getting a little sun, spending some time in nature, maybe having a bath with some magnesium or some sprays. I could be wrong here, but I think magnesium enters best through the skin. I think I've read that before, but please do your own research. This is just a friendly chat. But a major way that we experience or produce or I don't know the right word there, oxytocin is through intimacy, whether that's a hug, whether that is eye contact or touch or massage or sharing with people, conversations, voice, music, and vocalizing, so like singing yourself even, is a great way to stimulate oxytocin for yourself. And I know I don't consider myself a singer, but I'll sing to my dog, you know? But what we wanna, how can we bring this in, right? Okay, okay, touch. We're talking about a video here. <laughs> Like that's all well and good for your day to day, but what if, what, what about the times when there is no touch or there is no opportunity for hug or, you know, that's a little distant. I know obviously during the 2020, that was like a big theme for a lot of us, for me for sure. I went and got a facial at one point when things were lightening up a bit and went to the grocery store after and I was carrying a thing of seltzer waters and they all fell out in the middle of the crosswalk in the rain and I was like trying to hold back tears because I was fighting it from just being touched you know like a gentle little massage up here for the first time in what felt like forever and I'm picking up the sodas and they're exploding <laughs> and someone came up and was helping me and I was like oh that kind of day and she was like no it's freaking crazy out here <laughs> I was like just get to the car, get to the car where you can cry. So there's a really strong need for that connection for a lot of experiences that we have. So, wow. No, I can't be there to give you a hug in person. <laughs> there's something that we can do. There's something certainly to be said for the connection between even, you know, a by proxy or a video. Is it ideal? Is it the most potent? I probably wouldn't guess that, but it can be helpful better than nothing. You know, and a lot of us too may have a resistance to intimacy or feel too vulnerable or just be in a certain stage in our lives when not only is that perhaps not available, but there's like a wall that we've put up and barriers that, you know, we're maybe working to bring down or maybe they're serving. So this is a nice, easy way to have a, well, I shouldn't say easy. I mean, it is easy, but a really safe way to have an experience of connection and sharing. And, you know, there's a little intimacy, I'm sure, but still having like a nice healthy boundary and feeling safe. I hope you know you're always safe or hope you feel always safe when you come to my channel. And thank you to the those of you who leave comments and create and contribute more and more and more to that safe space that we have here. I am so grateful. So every comment that is, you know, let's call it like in the good <laughs> and I don't mean a compliment to me <laughs> though I do appreciate them but you know uplifting or just positive in general is just adding to the field that we hold here so I always really do appreciate that so much and just a reminder that this is also helpful for reducing cortisol levels reducing stress it's just really beneficial for us to experience so we're gonna set an intention to experience a release or a, I don't know how it works exactly chemically, but the oxytocin that our body and brain naturally produces and set an intention to experience it more throughout the day. It doesn't have to be touchy-feely. It doesn't have to be super intimate. It can be 
very beneficial just to pay someone a compliment or to do something nice for someone to see someone struggling to reach something in the grocery store and just helping them out or telling someone you like their nails or their hair or their style or something you know about them <laughs> or doing a favor in some way is one of the best ways that I know personally in my experience to get myself out of a funk or to naturally like get my own little high I don't do it for that but can't deny the little high afterwards of like oh that was so nice <laughs> oh I'm glad I could help oh there's like that feeling of connection there so even that as we go about our day is just giving some heartfelt compliments or doing something nice for someone volunteering helping out really makes you feel good and it gets the oxytocin going so we're gonna work with that the best that we can in a video so i have a really funny outfit on right now and it is actually purposeful because my girlfriend marcella um gave me a whole bunch of vintage clothes and it, this is one thing that she sent like extra to, or one of the things she sent even extra to me and it was so nice to get a gift from well i mean it's not just that it was a gift it was a gift from her and she thought that this would fit or this would look good on me or like she wanted me to have this so it makes me happy to remember that connection and remember that love that she has for me and that i have for her and yeah <laughs> so there's a oxytocin in here for me <laughs> we're gonna be using this candle dripless but they do drip um what do you call this taper candle and we're gonna set an intention and charge our candle to allow us to connect with this lovey chemical this lovey hormone <laughs> or whatever exactly it is that we can connect with and experience to not only experience it more for ourselves because it is such a beneficial um, chemical within us for lowering stress, reducing cortisol levels, etc. But also for us to be able to share that or give experiences to others, not in a forceful way, in a very gentle way, to trigger their oxytocin. And like, let's spread some love, <laughs> you know? Spreading love, spreading love, spreading love. So, going to On behalf of the highest and greatest good and perfect comfort and alignment, we're setting our intention, as we stated, to experience more healthy, health, helpful, soothing oxytocin and love to use our voices maybe hum a tune or a melody or a whistle or sing a song to yourself there were studies done I'm sorry I don't I'm not your reference for everything like that right? but I know that I read that there were studies done on how powerful singing is or perhaps even humming or whistling I would imagine and 
producing or triggering oxytocin, so. And also, of course, to move in ways and speak in ways and carry yourself in ways that also triggers that in a very um, open, non-manipulative um, in a negative way, but just creating more opportunities for that in the world. Whether that's through your smile and how that lights up, you know, it really does. Or your energy or your aura or your fragrance or your outfits or whatever, like just you existing. But also the... <laughs> but also the ways that we can compliment or connect or share or hug or whatever it is that creates a moment of connection and there's a social element here of this um, effect okay. I'm going to start using this really cool lapetalite just going to tap this around you. And we're going to do that with some other stones and woods and sprays. Hopefully you're able to use your imagination and kind of tune this in. So my focus is to connect with your subtle body, if you permit, of course, only. But to form that sort of, yes, by proxy, but um, sort of touch, you know, touch through senses. Maybe not the physical senses, but the subtle senses. The petalite is very soothing, stress reducing. So, and I don't know if you can see. Perhaps if I don't know if you can see that it's kind of translucent. A little. A little bit. body and connecting and moving down. And thank you for forgiving the traffic outside. It is what it is. <laughs> Hopefully in a year I'll be living somewhere else. Soothing the vocal cords, relaxing the vocal cords to support like the ease of communication or expression or song or humming or whatever it might be. Our tone is so triggering. <laughs> it can like put you at ease, a gentle tone. Or a sharp tone can really put you on edge right away, even if it's the exact same words being said. So maybe that's something to consider. Okay. 
still using our crystals. I think these are the last of the crystals for this session. We have the yep, these. <laughs> yeah, 99% sure this is a really interesting polished piece of dioptes that I got at a gem show. I hope you can see those like sparkles. Usually dioptes is sort of a I'll say cubic, I might not be exactly right, but they kind of form in these like cubic <laughs> growths on uh, like a matrix. And I've never seen a polished one before discovering this. So I don't know the deal exactly, but I know this is diapodes. And this is a um, piece of Azulite or azul, but it also must have some other stuff in there because I do see some other colors. But it's got these like really beautiful blues in it that are a little hard to see. The point of these is heart and communication. So I want to work through a little tapping, a little rubbing. Now that sound might not be ideal for everyone. I like it, but it also kind of sounds like a record skipping a little or something. We're going to start in the heart to just clear any channels for your receiving love, especially through the interpretation of communication toward you. And yeah, that's like vocal communication or written, but I also mean body language. I also mean the two to two that you see, or the feather that you find, or the way the clouds just captivate you, or the sunset, or the breeze, like the, um, what would you call that? The environmental communications, validation, peace, love that you're receiving from the universe. So, the, what you send out, but also what you I'm going to move up to the throat. And down to the solar. Just clearing any blockages in these points. reception or understanding or view or for you to be able to express like for example I guess what a power it is for someone to be a jerk <laughs> and for us to have compassion or you know be able to validate them and I don't mean I don't mean like true jerks <laughs> I don't mean scoundrels I mean your friend saying something a little too candid, you know, like a little too um, blunt, you know, it happens. Mercury retrograde, or someone saying something jerky. The automatic dynamic for a lot of us, I know it used to be for me, would be to like, what do you mean by that? Kind of like start it back and forth. 
But when you can express yourself more vulnerably, like, ow, oh, that hurt. <laughs> like, why would you say that? And give someone a chance to correct themselves. Like, one of my favorite expressions is like, a, well, what do you mean by that? When someone says something kind of shitty a little. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give them a chance to correct it, especially if you care about that person. Moving through the energy channels of the rising energy within you. first over the crown. area a little bit and here we're connecting we're moving it's about touch it's about focus so the clavicle down the center of the torso from the chest down with respect, of course. Into the hip.
bone, forearm, wrist, fingers. like rain to me almost like fire and rain
And this one is Vanilla Kisses. And I've smelled this in my dream. Like, it's crazy. Like, I smelled this super intense in my dream. I was having a dream about Bamba. your subtle body. I'm gonna go into the jaw and just ease the tension there because I know you carry a lot of stress in your jaw sometimes. Alright, gonna go for the shoulder.
almost like we were taking the aura and just smoothing it, relaxing it, and as without, so within. It supports your feeling of feeling smooth, feeling easy, feeling receptive, feeling loved. receptive hand. So for me, that would be my left. I just want to give you some compliments. I want to thank you for always being open enough <laughs> to be here. I think that's a really good sign, personally, for being in a place of either maybe not knowing what you need, because I don't mean that you need this, but doing something kind for yourself, like self-care, or meditation, or having a little nighttime ritual or something. I want to thank you for the space that you hold here, and the contributions that you make to this community. Whether you leave comments or not, or whether, you know, how far that goes, doesn't matter. You're here. <laughs> And your energy contributes to this. You support me in channeling these messages or these communications just by your observation here, you know, a very quantum dynamic relationship. <laughs> I want to thank you for being as true to yourself as you are. I want to thank you and compliment you on the courage. You're here, every not here, right? But I mean, you're here in this world every day, doing your best, every day, with what you're able to. I know you put a smile on a lot of people's faces. I know you brighten lots of days and do many selfless acts. I want to commend you on your present and you know lifetime works of self-discovery, of self-improvement or self-development, and even when it feels like no one's witnessing it, as long as you see it in yourself, it's witnessed. And then that spreads, it trickles out. I'm just channeling through a... There are no words for it, right? But a love, a appreciation, a warmth. Letting you know how grateful I am for these opportunities to connect. And just for good measure, focusing on your other palm, hand in mine, and just witnessing all the like opportunities or experiences you create, or all the little deeds you do, <laughs> all the good thoughts you think, all the actions you take, no matter how tiny, kind of add the good, so to speak, to the world we all share, and the field we all play in. <laughs> all right. Little rose quartz. <laughs> Such a sweet little rattle sound. to really work. 
gentle and plutonic intimacy and care, compassion. These are so sensitive, you know? Another gift, um, I think it was someone on Patreon, I wish I could remember her name, but sent me this from her pet. So, no harm done here. Thank you so very much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path today. I think I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, but if you'd like to support the channel, Patreon's a great way. I also have my classes. All of them are at a discount. You can find it in the community post here, my community tab. All of them have a 15% off for like the first, I think I said it to 100 or something, like first 100 purchases or so. I mean, a hundred of them, I'm pretty sure. It was like the default. I was like, oh, that sounds good. So, if you'd like to, you know, hear about Reiki and learn some of the things, or hear me talk about the things that I've learned, and give you ideas to practice for yourself, um, those are available. 
And again, thank you. It is such an incredible honor. You give me so much oxytocin, <laughs> truly, in so many ways. So thank you so much for that. And I hope I can share a little with you or help you to let it bubble up within yourself. With so much love and gratitude from the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine in you and I and to this beautiful, loving, <laughs> intimate platonic um, connection that we share. So very much love to you.